This Billiard Club Network Classic is brought to you by MedActive, the new standard for oral care. Visit MedActiveOral.com. And now, a Billiard Club Network Classic. Jim Rempe, ranked number 7 in 1995, winner of the Players' Championship in Philadelphia. Renews an old rivalry with the man most people consider the best player in the world out of the Philippines, Efren Reyes, current world eight ball champion and pro tour champion of 1995. Tonight, these two great players meet in the semifinals of the Commerce Casino Legends of Nine Ball Tournament. Well, what a nice reception. And welcome to the Commerce Casino. We're just a handful of miles east of downtown Los Angeles and the Legends of Nine Ball Tournament semifinal competition. I'm Tom Kelly, standing between two legends. On my right, the little colonel from Kentucky, Nick Varner. And on my left, the living legend, all dressed up and someplace to go, Steve the Miz Miserac. I love the tuxedo. I looked so good last week, you told me to wear it again. I did indeed, and you got it cleaned and everything, and you look just gorgeous it's, in it. It's hot, like you. <laughs> Nick, let's talk, let's talk about these two very fine semifinalists. They'll be going against uh, Jimmy Wetch, who won a great match a week ago, and will be playing for the title. First of all, um, what about um, uh, Rempe? Well, Jimmy, uh, last year, uh, in 95, he started out and won the uh, first tournament of the year. And it just so happens, Tom, this is the first tournament of 1996. Right. So I think he's trying to repeat. Well, it could be. Maybe that's an omen. You played against Efren Reyes, and uh, I'm you happy call, that you... If you call it that. <laughs> I'm happy you're standing next to me, but I know that you'd rather be playing in the semifinal. He beat you, huh, Steve? Uh, beat me 13-2. to two. I never had a chance. Well, he does that to a lot of people. He's a magician. Uh, he's a seasoned veteran. He knows what he's doing. He's the hot player right now. We're in for a great match. Well, Rempe and uh, Reyes have gotten together before. In fact, back in Atlantic City not that long ago, they had a great match. We'll tell you more about that. We think this is going to be a great one. Thank you for joining us. Semi-final Legends of Nine Ball Tournament play will get started from the Commerce Casino right after we pause for this message. The game starts with a clean table. Get it clean with Chalk Off. Just spray it on and wipe it off. That's all it takes. Clean your pool table in less than 60 seconds with Chalk Off and the new microfiber brunge. It's a brush and a sponge all in one. For more information, call us toll free. Visit ChalkOff.com or call your local retailer and ask for it by name. That's Chalk Off, the complete pool table cleaner. All right, our semifinal match, Jim Rempe against Efren Reyes, two of the very best in the game, two veterans who have been in this position before, know full well the pressures that go with playing in the semifinal competition with a shot at the big money and a match against uh, uh, Jimmy Wetch next week. Jimmy and Efren uh, really fit the title of this tournament, uh, the Legends of Nine Ball. You're right. In fact, um, Efren is trying to help out on yeah, that last try to help a little <laughs> bit a great like sense that. of humor yeah. <laughs> and so Rempe will get the first break as we uh, check the rules now that govern play here in this uh, nine ball competition lagging for the break and you saw Rempe will get the first crack at it optional push out any foul the balls in hand to the opponent three consecutive fouls and you've lost the rack or that game you've got to hit the lowest numbered ball first and then in succession it's a race to 11 and you've got a break from within the box, which is a brand new feature as we continue play here from the Commerce Casino. And this our first big event of the 1996 Pro Billiard Tour. Semi-final competition. Jimmy Wetch is waiting to play the winner next week. And here's Rempe now with the break. Again, here we go from the box. Oh, he let the cue ball fly. And he made a ball. Yeah, this is the first tournament he made one. <laughs> okay. All right, Nick Varner, what's the first play here? Okay, he's got the one ball here, the cue ball here. So he's got a tough shot. He's going to try to play it here. And the cue ball, when it comes off the rail, he's got to try to play position on that two. And the six is a little bit in his way. Uh, he may stop short of the six or come back. You want to have a little easier shot for the first shot in any match. Yeah, because a lot of times the first shot sets up the momentum of the match. Made it. Boy, yeah. he hit that in clean. Yeah. yeah. And what he's a got a nice position shot. on the two. And I would think uh, you can add to the pressure the fact that you're playing Reyes and uh, you give Reyes too many opportunities and uh, you're sitting there watching a lot of the game. 
<laughs> I don't think he's worried about Reyes right now. I think he's just interested in cleaning the table. <laughs> Would be nice. Would be nice to get off on the right foot. And he's got to get one to hit that. Five. No, he didn't want to miss that. Yeah. yeah, but I think he's okay. After making those two shots, the one and the two, I think this will be a hanger for him. Yeah, he just got to try to stop over in that same side of the table. The five ball's right by his hand. That's the next ball. <laughs> Missed it. Oh. Took his eye. Ooh. Look at this. Didn't oh. want that. Did Look where the cue ball wound that. up. Look where I the mean, cue ball wound up, Tom. It is dead Froze stiff. On the five. It's frozen. That's yeah. Well, we're going to get, they call him the magician, Ephraim Rays. We're going to get a chance to see if he's got the magic touch, huh? Yep. First shot, he's got to do a magic trick. Well, I was surprised that Rempe missed that three ball, and yet he has left the magician, Reyes, with well, a very tough One thing play. here, if he makes the three, he can easily shoot the five in the side. Well, he's made missed it. Missed it. He made it. He made it. Great job. I tell you, this I, kid can I, play I this I believe game. half the Filipino nation is here tonight. Could very easily be. Fans come alive with that shot, don't yeah. they? Well, and you know, talking about this, uh, this man from the Philippines, he's a national treasure in the Philippine Islands. Uh, what, what he does uh, rates headlines, big time headlines. Well, he beats me so much, I wish he'd stay in the Philippines. <laughs> Watch the kick look at this. all the way up, back. He hits the ball. Perfect. I mean, he didn't even have to go to the rail. This is the opening match, the opening game in the race to 11. And Reyes got a big time advantage when Rempe hung the three ball. And then he made a great shot from being frozen well, with the five. He didn't want to do this. No. I think he's up to it, though. Well. Easy. We're easy, gonna see how easy. how good a stroke he is in right now. He's gotta shoot the eight in the upper corner. He's gotta draw his rail, uh, his cue ball down to the bottom rail to make the nine. Difficult shot. Gonna have to go two rails across. Oh, Difficult he missed shot. the eight. Mm. 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 As you can see, uh, last week we started off with a a couple of guys who are very nervous, and mm -hmm. uh, these mm -hmm. two guys are old seasoned veterans, and, and uh, they shouldn't be missing some of these shots. No, but I guess nerves that that doesn't know any age barrier. TV yeah. does it all. Yeah. He's got to draw all the way back for the nine. Hit it perfect. Oh, hit it hit perfect. that ball nice. Great well, shot. Rempe survived a miscue, a bad shot. And has come up now with the He's playing first. pretty good. Yes, he is. Has Those, won the first the game. The flags are flying. The yeah. American flags yeah. are flying. <laughs> so Rempe wins the first one. He leads 1-0. In case you've just joined us here in 1996 on the uh, new venture out from the Commerce Casino of the uh, Pro Billiards Tour, the new innovation is where that ball is placed for the break, and that is in the box. It's new on the Pro Billiard Tour this year. Players decided that's where they wanted it, and it's provided some very interesting items for the players. Cue ball Boy, he's got go. that break working pretty good, doesn't yep. he, Steve? Well, did yep. you notice how the cue ball stopped? Here's the one ball, here's the cue ball, and here's the two real close to the one. So he's got a good opening shot. Just cut it in the corner, bounce off the rail, and come back in this area. Mm -hmm. Right, right if he gets off to like a three or four game lead here, he can be uh, tough, huh? Efren may have a problem here. Well, you know, the last time they played for a big chunk of money, Jim was telling me, was back in 1986 at the resorts in Atlantic City. $35,000, and they battled each other, and Rempe came away the winner. Yeah, I saw that match, and Jimmy played real good. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. Oh, well there's wow. the speed of the table. Yep. That's what he's play doing. Safe. That's what he's doing. Putting him behind the six and seven. That was a good <laughs> shot. Well, the magicians are going to have to do another trick here. Came within the uh, uh, hog's breath of winning the U.S. Open. Yes. Yeah. A tournament he has won before, as have the 
champions seated up, seated up here with me. Steve Mizorak and Nick Varner. Nice crowd on hand for this semifinal event. Sold out. Yep. Full house. Commissioner. And tonight, I believe, uh, well, not tonight, next, next week, mm -hmm. uh, you will uh, uh, see a, a sold out house. Well, did he work a little magic there or did he not? I think he can hit that ball. What he'll, what he'll want to do if he can hit that is try to hit it and just drive it out where the eight's blocking the hole and send the cue ball all the way up the table if he can do that. Rempe leads one game to none in the race to 11. Oh, he can see it all, looks like. Oh, Apparently. he might be playing a cross side. Then. Yeah. Or else Bank hooking it behind the 6-7. Is he going to draw him over behind the 6? No, six? no. He I can't. Think so. He can't hit enough of it. I, I like it, your uh, your idea, Nick, to to put it out in the middle of the table where uh, the four will block the eight, or the eight will block the four from going in the hole. I think he's cross banking this way he's stroking it. Tried and got it. Oh, nope. couldn't oh, quite close. hit enough of it, could he? Nine ball no. may all. Oh. You know, if he doesn't get a kiss off the nine ball, he might have had him. Okay, Rempe is like the cue balls here, the four balls here. What he's going to try to do is play the four in this pocket and draw over here for position on the five next. <laughs> this guy is in such wonderful stroke. It's unbelievable. Yep. He is. Uh, well, these are both two. Line. These are both two fun players to watch here. Oh. I watched him uh, part of the tournament earlier in the week, and uh, he did everything but hit it with the other end of the queue. You know he, what? He you beat know what? So bad. I have to tell you, you know what I've watched Efren do all week? <laughs> What's that? Play state? cards. Is that what he's been doing? That's what he does yeah. in his spare time. Yeah. He loves to play cards. Yeah. And here at the Commerce Casino, oh, you can yeah. play uh, almost course. any kind of That's cards right. you want. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, starting off the 1996 season, uh, it's really been a great event here at the yes, Converse Casino here in Los Angeles. I want to know how many miles is a handful? <laughs> about five or six. Really. Okay, just checking. <laughs> it's about what it is right down the freeway. Reyes makes it. And the games are even at one apiece in this race to 11. You're watching semifinal play from the Commerce Casino. We'll be back. Are you looking for the ultimate one-stop shop for pool and billiard supplies? Then you need to visit billiardclub.net today for everything and anything you need for your home entertainment center. Log on today to billiardclub.net or call toll-free 866-774-8770. Billiardclub.net. Reyes wins game number three after three games. The score is Reyes two, Rempe one. Well, Tom, who do you think is going to win this match? Well, I don't know. We're taking a look at the beautiful city of Chesapeake, Virginia. Magnificent locale. We had a great tournament stop there. Reed Pierce came on and won the uh, championship back there at the U.S. Open nine ball. And That's Mayor Ward, true. isn't it beautiful? Mayor Ward was the guy who said that if I ever came back that way, not only would he uh, find me a great golf course, he'd take me out and show me some great fishing. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, you're going to go back and fish? Of course I'll go back and fish. They tell me the fish coming out of Chesapeake Bay are just delectable. They catch minnows. Are you kidding? They're minnows. <laughs> I fish in the Atlantic Ocean. We catch fish. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about sharks down there. <laughs> We catch that's, fish. Are that's, you okay? That's it for you. Come on. <laughs> They're minnows. All right, Ms. I'm coming down to Palm Beach and Come you can on take down. me fishing. Come on now down. That corner ball went in that time, Steve. I saw that. Catch you some sailfish, Tom. I've got one hanging on my wall that I don't know what to do with. All it does is take up space. Here's the one. Here's the cue ball. He's going to play the one in this pocket and the two is right here. So he's just going to bounce off the rail and bounce off for the two. Reyes leads two games to one in the race to 11. Winner goes on to play Jimmy Wetch next week for the Legends of Nine Ball Tournament Championship.
Efren Reyes out of the Philippines, philanthropist, a national treasure over there. You want to know something? He's an extremely nice guy. Yes. In fact, I was going to say that I was. Uh, All the Filipinos are, yeah. are wonderful. Yeah. To play against, to be with, to have fun with. Yeah. They're all nice guys. I mean, they have it. They come here, and they conduct themselves like uh, the beautiful people yeah. that they are. Yeah. Well, they sure have great attitudes. Uh, I remember when Ephraim came to this country uh, 10 or 12 years ago for the first time. Uh, I was really marveled at uh, his attitude. It's just superb. And uh, I'm looking forward. I understand in 96 we're going to be playing uh, the Pro Billiards Tour is uh, going to Manila for Pro Tour. Stuff. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That'd be great. Boy, what a reception you'll get over there. That'll be just tremendous. But you know yeah. what? I heard that there are players eight over more there like as, as good guy. as he is. <laughs> well, then you better take your best stick. Reyes has now taken a 3-1 lead over Rempe in the race to 11. We'll be back to the Commerce Casino and more. Nine ball, serious pool in a moment. Leading three games to one in the race to 11, Efren Reyes. Let's see if the end ball flies in this time, Nick. Yeah. Sure well, did. it did again. Yeah. Well, that starts to happen. We might have to break from the upper point. Okay, Ephraim broke from over here and made that corner ball in this pocket. And now he's got the cue ball here and the one ball here. It doesn't look like he can really pocket a ball here unless it's a six. I look for him to play safety. Can't get it by the six? Rimpy needs to do something good for the cause. He's down three games to one. He's going to have to get his act together. Very fine player. Ranked number seven last year. And won the Players' Championship in Philadelphia. And he's a great player. He's yes. And you know, one thing about Rimpy, he's been a great player for a long time. Mm -hmm. I think he's won something like 11 championships. And 11? Yeah. He's won more than that. Has he? I thought on the Pro Tour he'd won 11. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. All around the world, he's won, mm -hmm. won a lot more than I'm that. sure he's played everywhere in the world. Okay, he couldn't hit it, I guess, so he kicked at it, and uh, he's... Uh, he did okay. Now, Ephraim has a choice here. He could play defense behind the two, or he could possibly play the combination on the two. He's looking which, that over right uh, now. Tom, I know you'll enjoy that shot. Yeah. Is it a tough combination, Nick? Yes. Hmm. Because he's got to let the cue ball fly a little bit. That's what he's playing, I believe. Uh, yes, he is. Let me tell you. I don't know if there's a shot this guy can't pull off. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, well, like all good players, they almost make good luck for themselves, too, don't they? Yeah, it seems like the better you play, the luckier you get. Yes, down. yeah. Well, you know what Branch Ricky said? Luck is the residue of hard work. <laughs> Two rails here. Over and shoot the four in the right-hand corner. One rail. No, he's going to play the six. Another combination? Yes, sir. Oh, my kind of guy. My <laughs> kind of guy. Here. He leads three games to one. He well, may just run away and hide from Rempe. If Rempe's oh. not careful, that's what's going to happen. He's no problem down there, is there, with those three? Well, he's well, got to have good speed control to play the five. The five ball is the one between the two balls next to the nine ball. My opinion, that. he's going to draw straight back and shoot the five over our cameraman is standing. Uh oh, that's uh -oh, in the hole. Corner pocket. Scratch. That's in the hole. No. Oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, when you have it going, you have it going. Didn't that just say something about good players make good luck? You're it's exactly right. Huh? Is he up against the rail there, frozen? Is that yes, a problem? Yes, he is. Yeah, he's frozen on the rail. That's not the easiest shot then, is it? It's not no, that difficult. No, but I'm but sure he'll be all right. Yeah. Well, I mentioned the pro tour stop that uh, we're going to have this year in Manila and uh, Ephraim sponsor, AMF Pull Yacht. I'm really looking forward uh, to going back uh, to uh, Manila again this year. Uh, 
They're really nice people over there. Boy, I tell you, what a great shot that was. Reyes with this shot here will take a 4-1 lead and the race to 11. And the crowd, not necessarily pulling against Rempe, but certainly very pro Efren Reyes. Very pleased with the way he's played. 4-1 Reyes after five games in the race to 11. Visit chalkoff.com or call your local retailer and ask for it by name. That's Chalk Off, the complete pool table cleaner. So far it's been one-sided. If it were a mugging, why well, they would have called the cops. 5-1, Reyes over Rempe and Reyes breaking. Semi-final competition. Winner goes on to play for the title next week against Jimmy Wetch. Well, Jimmy's got another chance. Right, right here, once he gets to this area here, the four and the five, if this ball goes in the side, it's not too bad, but playing position on this first ball, the four, is going to be very difficult. What can he do about, um, oof. He hit it too hard, but he got away with it. What he? Well, this is a big game for Jim. He needs to. Oh, uh, oh he hit it too hard. He didn't want to hit it that hard. He want to get on the opposite side of the angle. He's got to win a rack here. He's got to get back in this. That's game. what he's going to do, Tom. He's got to play that. It makes the three, and he's got to play the four, hit the four, make the five, and hope that everything else falls in place for him. Right. Or oh, the way it's lining up, it looks like he's really going to turn that four ball loose. Yes, he is. <laughs> He was lining it up like he's really got to hit this four ball thin. Yeah, I don't Look know why he's cute. Why did he draw his ball? And play the four in the lower left no, corner? No, why did he draw his ball if he's going to shoot the five? I'd have followed it or something. Give myself more of an angle. Yeah, he's got to really cut this ball. Look how much he's cutting this ball. Yeah, but it looks like the, if he just moves the five, it's dead into the pocket, isn't it? Well, he doesn't know where the four is going, Tom. Well, he's got to cut the four to make the five. And the four is going to run into the seven. And who knows where the four is going to end up. Well, he's just got a lot of green between he and the four ball. But okay. Tricky shot coming up yes, here. But you know, he's in a, a spot where he has got to make these shots. Yeah, he's got to be a little careful here because he, he could. Uh, it's a hard shot to pocket. It's a hard shot to pocket. It's a hard shot to avoid a scratch. It's a hard shot to play position. Uh-huh. And he's behind 5-1. Yes, he is. Anything else that's good? No, uh, not really. Anything else going good for Jim Rempe? This is a big shot for him to get back in this match. He... Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Look like at this it. position like here. How about this position? Great shot. What a great shot. Gorgeous. Great shot. Gorgeous. I'll tell you what, he's in tough. He fell almost straight in on this ball. He's going to have a hard time getting back down table for yeah. the seven. You know, it's yeah. funny. When things are going tough, you just get that wrong angle all the time. He's but I gonna, think he can do that. He's going to draw it straight back and go one rail straight up the top. I tell you what, I don't think he can get there, Steve. I don't think he can get past the sides up by the eight. And I don't think well, yeah, lucky he's looking at a mass A, so. He may, uh, I know he don't want to play safe, but he could snooker him with the nine here, but, or go up table behind the seven. He's got some safety opportunities, no, but he's not, he's he hasn't not, looked at him. I don't think he's, I think he's going all out here. I think he's shooting for. Look at this. Oh, His this hands up in the air. He's oh, trying yeah. a mass A shot. What a shot. shot him there. What a shot that was. Listen, boys, desperate measures are required here. Desperation wow. shots. Wow. But after such a great shot, he still has a tough shot. Got a Amen. tough shot. Watch his hand. We can't see his hand. Well, he, he did a quick jump there. I guess you call that a floating mass A, that last shot. Good Ooh. shot. Yep. That went in clean as a Good whistle. Good shot. 
What a man trying to bank. battle his way back. He's down 5 1. Desperately needs these two balls to get back into the semifinal competition. No margin for error. No. None. None whatsoever. Yep. Well, if he makes this, this is a great collection of shots that he's put together to get this game. Good out great there. Out. Great out. Indeed. Great oh. out. If he wins this match, that ma that rack right there would be the one. So it is five. That's two the now. best run out of. Watch that ball on the right hand side of the rack. See if it'll go straight in that corner. Rempy needs it. He made got the it. three. Oh, the nine. Made the three. Oh, he made. Look at this yep. break. Yep. Okay, Jimmy's got the one here, and what he's looking at is this two ball right here. He can play the one in this pocket, and he can either drop underneath and maybe play the two off the seven in the side, or he can try to come all the way up. He's going to play that two off the seven, isn't he, Steve? Huh. He needs he needs uh, to win this game off of bad. Looks like it's laying pretty good. I think he's pretty comfortable. He played position for it. Mm. Nice shot. Beautifully done. Got another big combination coming up here in a moment. No, I don't think so. Not at this <laughs> crucial stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw the replay of the two in the side. Off to seven. Now he's got to go two rails and try to get on the six. He's a little flat. He's got a, he forced it up nice though and got a good angle on the six. Look at this guy loose. He can do some damage too, Mr. Kelly. Yes, indeed. He's come alive in a hurry here. Jimmy's uh, really made two nice outs and a great break that last time. Well, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. It also is the <laughs> the motivating force for making some great shots, and he's got to do it. Trying to get to 5-3. Rempe on his way back. He's down 5-2. And now 5-3. Rempe has narrowed the gap. Reyes continues to lead by two here at the Commerce Casino. We'll be back with more Legends of Nine Ball after this. Visit MedActiveOral.com. It is 5-3. Reyes continues to lead by two, but it's not necessarily as dire a situation as Rumpy now has won. No. Oh, oh, look at that. He made the nine and scratched. and scratched. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, my. You know how big that was right oh. there? Oh, God. And the nine jumped right in on top of the that cue ball. That was so big. Now Reyes leading 5-3, ball in hand. Two ball across, three balls there. Oh, instead of it being 5-4, it's going to yeah. be 6-3. Yeah. Big difference. Oh. Enormous. Yeah. All the momentum Rempe gathered up until that scratch has gone out the window. Now he's got to regroup. He's got to get back. And he's got to start all over again. Three. Perfect. The crowd reacted very, very loudly at that It's a marvel at position, isn't he? He just always seems to have the cue ball where he wants it. Nick, what's he doing? I can't tell. But I tell That's you what. In a little trouble now. He must have been trying to bump that. Does that go by the seven? Mm, I don't know. It must, or Probably. else he's going to have to play a bank shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Well, on the break, the nine ball went, so did the cue ball for Rempe. And with ball in hand, Reyes is about to run this rack and will take a 6-3 lead in what could have been a one-match difference. With Rempe breaking. Yes, and it's going to be a three-game yeah. advantage now. Reyes leads 6-3. Now it's three games, and Reyes is breaking. Yep. Of course, this winner goes on to play Jimmy Wetch, and if it's Reyes, why, he and Wetch had quite a match coming down to semifinal play. Uh, he beat Wetch 13-12. Uh, Reyes, 9-64 to Rempe, 7-88. Well, when he's that high, and he, he's normally that high, he's playing great. Only missed one ball to Rempe's four, and no other mistakes. No other mistakes. And, and Rempe's got 7-88, period. All right, Reyes uh, leads 6-3, and with the break, ooh, almost made the nine ball and almost had a scratch. Okay, I think what it, if it's not what he's worried about here is cutting this, this two ball thin enough to go on the side and hope this white ball either catches this rail or this rail. Now, here's the three, and he has to shoot pretty hard to make that, so he's in a tough spot. If that cue ball is lined up dead for the pocket, then he has to do something else. Well, after he makes that two, he's going to play a combination three and nine, and he's going to go to seven to three. What is he going to do here, Nick? Well, he might protection. bank it at the nine. He's got a lead. Uh, he may bank it, follow forward, and play kind of a, a two-way shot, a safety and an offensive shot. No, he went for the... Give me a break, will you? What a shot. Give me a like. break. <laughs> he's gonna, he's this guy pulls things out of his hat. <laughs> now he's got a... Uh, he's uh, the magician. Now he can play a uh, combination on the nine. I Tom, just your said favorite. That. Nikki, I just said that, oh, <laughs> what, two minutes ago? It's a lock. Watch it. He's going to go up 7 3. Rempe will just sit and watch. There you are. <laughs> i tell you what. He got out from nowhere. I can't believe it. This guy does things that are so magical, I can't begin to tell you. Let's take another look at it here. This is um, Efren Reyes at his very best as he wins the seventh game and he takes a 7-3 lead. Cuts the two. Here's the three into the nine. Perfect. But the big shot was the two ball. He cut the two ball backwards. There goes the nine. Yeah. Here's another look at the combination. But he not only made the two preceding that, he ran it through all the cluster of balls and brought the cue ball all the way back down. He guy. leads 7-3 and he's on a tear in the race to 11. Log on today to billiardclub.net or call toll free 866-774-8770, billiardclub.net. So it is eight to three now, Reyes uh, just rolling on a tear and I don't know what Rempe can do to stop him, hope that Reyes uh, scratches or something and lets Rempe get to the table, but the race to 11 seems to be a one-sided affair. Whoops, Rempe's gonna get to the table, gents. Oh, that three. Look at that three ball, and that's how close I if see. Rempe can run hey, this I see one of your favorite shots going to come, come oh, up Oh, yes, there. I do too, the four and the nine. Now he comes back for the two. He's got to get position for the three, and then he might just climb back into this thing. He's got to climb way back into this thing now. He's got to. Got to run three or four racks. Here's the stats here. Reyes is still up there. He's increased his stats to 968. Can you 61 that? to 26 balls pocketed. One mistake to four. And uh, Rempe's got a few errors where Reyes doesn't have a few errors. Well, it's that's amazing this, that Rempe's won three racks then, isn't it? That's Aki stats right there. I tell you, the way this guy Reyes plays. All right, give us some position now for a combination, 4-9. Four, 4-9. Nine. Four, nine. How tough is it? 8-3 uh, sh to three behind any shot's tough, but he should make this. Remember the last time he had a combination on the 9, he missed it. Not this time. So Rempe takes advantage of the break by Reyes without a ball going, and it's 8-4 now. Very straight in, 4 into the 9, and... Uh, he didn't hit it quite as hard as before. Good point, Steve Miserak. I was going to bring that up, not to be that severe a critic, but he really put a little pace on it, so to speak. Yes, he did. Yeah. 
Control the white ball. Very, very important. Remember now they're breaking out of the box. Almost uh, he's, he's trying that to get something ball to fall. Move. Ooh. He's got a little frustration in his face. Well, he's I don't. Rempe looked up here yeah. and he said, What was that? Yeah. Okay, it looks like the key to this rack is going to be when Ephraim gets to these two balls right here, the five and nine. What I think he'll do, Nick, is move the nine right here. Yeah. Yeah, he will. When he so makes that two, he'll. he'll mm -hmm. He just felt perfect unless he double kisses it, huh? Yeah. This guy. Uh, I cannot tell you how, how well he's playing right now enough times. Well, we've watched him in so many tournaments. In fact, I was kidding him, and I said, you know, we can't hardly do a TV show unless you're in it, Efren, because he just has been a standout performer all of 95, and now he's starting out 96 in the same vein. I was sitting, uh, I was playing Efren uh, the other day, mm -hmm. and some girl walked in and yelled, Efren, come on, come on. He's, I mean, this guy is like. <laughs> well, he's a national treasure. In his native Philippine Islands. Keeps beating me. I, you know, I, <laughs> I can't consider him a national treasure. Ooh. Yeah, playing in my hometown, Steve, he didn't give you much chance. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he tried to draw that one, but it didn't. And that's about as much as you will see facially from Reyes. He stuck his tongue out at the hole at the ball, and that's about as much of a look as he'll give it. <laughs> when he makes a mistake or is lucky, he will grin, stick his tongue out at it. If he misses it, he'll really stick his tongue out at it. <laughs> Outside of that, there's not much emotion for Reyes. And now he's looking to go 9-4. In the race to 11. That's it. Nine to four. Yep. And Reyes is just two more racks away from moving to the championship. There's the, the edge is 972. Nine He's improved. Yep. Nine to four. Reyes continues to dominate. Rempe sits on the stool, hoping that uh, with the break, Reyes won't make a ball and Rempe can get back and do some work of his own. Oh, Ooh. oh, it made, oh. It, oh, made, it, made, oh, three, made balls. three balls. That's yeah. all. Excuse Just me. Just three. That's all. Just three. And for a moment, it looked as though he was going to come up empty. And it, all of a sudden, they started to fall everywhere. Get a plumber. Stop the leaks on the oh, table. Oh, boy. Watch it again on the break. Look in the upper left-hand yeah. corner. One. There's there one. goes the four. Look at it. There Just. goes the eight in the side. Yeah. And playing safe. I didn't play. He's got a shot. Left him a one. Left him the one. And Reyes didn't Reyes like scratches it. his head. Rempe, right. Rempe needs to run about six or seven racks right now. Well, if he runs seven of them, he's going to win. Well, he <laughs> uh, needs to do that to win. <laughs> the Miz is something. i got to get the Miz to tell you about a senior tour that he's starting this year. How's that? Moving along pretty yes, good, sir. is it? Four stops we got coming. Wonderful. When's your first tournament, Steve? Uh -oh. April. Hold it. Hold it. Combination? No, no combination. No, he's sliding ah. the five. Yeah. No, don't worry about this. Okay. Don't get excited. All right. Desperate times call for desperate measures, man. Way to go in the six up here. All right, you going to open up in Milwaukee, are you? Yes, Luke? sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And Chicago, you were telling me, huh? Yep. And then the Big Apple? Yep. And also Alexandria, Virginia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, we wish you the best with it. That's wonderful. 50 and over, huh? 50 and over. Well, when I get to be 50, I might uh, pick up a cue. And... Just call me in my office. No problem. <laughs> Just put your name down on the list. Okay. Just that simple. Yeah, I went to the movies the other day. They charged me senior citizen rates. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was flabbergasted. <laughs> It is nine to five, and Rempe is still alive, although clinging by a fingernail. 961 to 833. The game starts with a clean table. 
Get it clean with Chalk Off. Just spray it on and wipe it off. That's all it takes. For more information, call us toll free. Visit ChalkOff.com or call your local retailer and ask for it by name. That's Chalk Off, the complete pool table cleaner. So it's a contest, 9-6 now. Rempe has literally come back from the edge of uh, despair. See about this break. Made a ball. And going to come away with good He's position. Got a shot. Yes, he does. Yes, He's got, got a shot, shot and a yep. good layout. Uh, yep. Uh, the key here. Two looks balls like, gone. Uh, Just getting on the three. Yep. He's got to get on this four and then get up here for this five. And he's starting a little thin on this one ball here, and here's the three ball, which he's playing position on next. Got to have a good touch here. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Isn't it? Yep. That's, he's absolutely good. Oh, nice touch. What he's looking for is to play position on this four. The problem is if he slides over in here, he can't hardly get around this nine to come around two rails for the five. So he looks like he's trying to fall straight in so he can draw out of there. That's what he did. Nick. He wants to draw straight That's out. Exactly he couldn't come around did. two rails. I tell you what, though, look at the seven. The seven's right in his path here. He. No, he's just, all he's got to do is use a little uh, left-hand English to come off the rail a little bit. For the six? I mean, yeah. for the five. Yeah, but then he's got to come all the way back down this end of the table for the six. He needs to be where he could draw straight up for this ball, Steve. That seven's blocking his path, and look how close to the, the, uh, nine, the, the nine is to the six. He needs to come up on the same side, doesn't he? Well, I think he can come off the rail. Look out. That's perfect. Beautiful. That's perfect. Draw straight back up. Play the six in the same corner where the nine is. I'll tell you what, this requires a pretty good stroke here for control of this cue ball because he's hitting close to the point of the side or is he going to pull above the pull side? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, he's uh -oh. going to be all right. Beautiful. Straight in. I don't Beautiful. Like now he's got problems. Believe what it or about not. this, Steve? Do you like this where he follows past the nine and then cuts the seven in the side? I uh, think just missed the six. I think that's, I mean, just missed the nine. I think that's what he's got to do. He's down he's, nine six. He's got games. no uh, other choice. But if he hits a nine, he could scratch. Well, that was a nice shot. Now he's uh, where does he play the seven side? In the side, side pocket, pocket, and he's got to hit it soft. Uh, to get position on the eight. He mm -hmm. doesn't want to come past the eight ball. Rippy doesn't have any margin for error, gentlemen. He's down nine six. Well, this really starts putting him close in the match uh, if he wins this Third game. Time. What a big game for him. Yep. Doesn't want to come past the eight, but he's going to. He may hit the eight. Oh. He got a roll. He got a Look at him dance around the table. What a nice break, and Reyes looks on. The adrenaline's Boy. flowing in Rempe right now. Boy, what a fortuitous kiss that was. And he knew it. Yes. Trying to uh, close to 9-7. Adrenaline's seven. flowing, 9-7 now. Yeah. And suddenly, the crowd uh, warms to the task. Suddenly, USA has come alive. <laughs> so Rempe has come from the... The brink of defeat to make a match out of it. He still isn't out of the woods. Rhea still leads 9-7 in the legends of nine ball semifinal competition. We're at the Commerce Casino. Winner goes on to play Jimmy Fletch for the title. Here we're All back. Right, Here we uh, are. Rempy breaking. 9-8. This is a key game. Oh, the corner ball. Did you uh -oh, see that, yes, Jimmy? Sir. Where's the one? Is it coming all the way over? No. Nope. Is he going to make it? No. Nope. No. Nope. Tough break. Well, what's he going to do? He's going to play safe. Hit. Okay, what he's going to do, I think, is try to hit this one thin, come around two rails, and either come this way, or if he gets more spin, maybe this way, and get him with these two, or these two. Depending I, on how thick he hits the one. I concur with that. I think that's what he's going to do. 
Scott Smith, the referee, is checking to make sure it's a clean hit. See, the three ball is in a very, very good position for Rempe. He gets him with that two. He's got a great shot, and that is. That's no, that's no bargain here. Nick, he got away with the kick. And what do you do? You duck him behind the five and like, nine? Yeah, I love. If he misses that nine going in, he's got a pretty strong safety. <laughs> okay, what I think he's going to do here is chip the side of the wand and try to come over and drift between the rail and the nine and just stop anywhere here by the five. That's what he would like, I think. And I think that's what he's going to do. And I think he's going to be successful at it. Yeah, he's got a pretty good touch on these, and he's been playing great pool to get back in this match. Uh, it's 9 8. He tried to play the four, I guess, huh? And the nine. Perfect, though. This is going to be a little tough to hit, even for the uh, magic Magician. man himself, right. huh? 9 9 Rempy breaking. 9-9 nine, nine, Rempe breaking. How do you hit this ball now, Steve? You've got to go at it one rail with low kill. I'll tell you what. I would bet you at dinner that he does not hit this ball here at one of these fabulous restaurants. Well, I'll tell you, he, he's got to be worth I didn't hear of... you. I didn't hear Nick. <laughs> I lost my voice. Steve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I don't Nick know was if just I want to match up a golf game with you either. <laughs> uh, you beat me I was just times. wondering if. Oops. Oh, he's playing. He's tying up the five. Wow, well, Mr. Rippey has to. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't tie but it he up. He did. Might put it where he has to be on this one side, which would be tough. Hey, Nick, where is Jimmy going to make the one? He may have to either play safe or the one three. It looks like he's landing up for the one three, and I think I like that. I think that's a choice I would make. The key here, I think, is going to come when that ball next to the one is the four and then playing position on the five, which is the ball close to the nine, assuming that he makes this combination. Because uh, he has to hit this first shot good to make uh, it, even with big ball assumption. in hand. This is, a, this is a tough shot. Great shot. Nice Great shot. shot. Now, at that point, Tom, I think he would have liked to have made both balls there. I don't doubt it a bit because he's in great shape for the two ball. But And he could have come down off the two ball, maybe busted up that five and nine down there, couldn't he? Well, he doesn't need to. Don't bust up anything you don't need to. Yeah, but I mean, he's got to get on this side of that five ball to make right. it, I think. Yeah, but he can he can do that. That's not. No, it's no, he not didn't too like good. That. I think he's going to have to play safe uh, on this two. Uh, well, he can. Yes, he can. Well, he can drop down behind the five and nine, put the eight, put the two on the right-hand rail, and uh, he'll have a pretty good safe. But I know one thing: he wanted to run out. There's yeah. Reyes. He looks mad. Look at him. That's right. He looks mad. Put it going, doing the reverse on this ball. Pretty good shot. Yeah. I don't know if I'd have wanted to do that, though, Nick. Well, I wouldn't have wanted to do it, but I'm not sure. Was there a better shot there? I don't know. He may end up re-snookered here, but. But I'll tell you, this match is worthy of the talents of these two guys. They have played some you tremendous know, pool. You know, he's got a chance to re-snooker him here. He can kick to the side rail, spin it down, hit the end rail, then come up and bump the two against the rail and bring the cue ball right up above a nine, pretty close to I, where it's at right I now. I don't think he can spin it that far. Oh, you don't think so? No. He can't catch the end rail is what mm, you're saying? I don't think so. I don't think he can get by the nine early enough. Nikki, you kind of lost me with that first spin and the first reel that you were going to move. <laughs> okay. That's what he's looking at right now is my shot where he hits this rail, comes off, bumps the two to catch the rail, and brings the white ball here. Another choice is if he can't do that is go one rail, cut the two over toward the five, and try to bring up 
the white ball right here behind the nine. Those are his two choices he's looking at. Let's see which one he picks. Well, we're down to where you can't afford to make a mistake. It's yeah, this nine, is eight. a big shot, nine yeah. eight. It's uh, Jimmy. I actually be the favorite if he wins this game. He'll be breaking with a score tied nine nine. Which uh, after being down nine to four, he's yeah. got to feel like he's uh, almost won the match already. That's right. He's looking it over pretty careful, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> there is a time limit on uh, how much I you can I tell you take what, I think shot. he's going to re snooker him here. I really do. I think he's going to hit this good. Ooh. Oh, he hit it hard. Was... Oh, he got a little bit of a roll there. Got a roll. Tide has turned need. a little, huh? Yes, it has. Well, he got lucky with that. He hit it harder than he should have, didn't he? Well, we both thought that he should have hit it easy. Okay, right, right here is the two ball, this first one. Here's the cue ball. And what Efren's trying to do is figure out a way to play him safe. And he, it's hard to tell what he's doing. He's going to try to put him behind the six. Up in the box, the six is in the box. He's trying to try to put him behind the six in the box. Oh yeah, thin and leave it behind the four. No, no. That's a good shot there, huh? If he could hit the end rail here, it wouldn't be so bad. But Ephraim's kind of put him. This is a tough kick here. Tell you what, I like kicking. Yeah, he's he's kicking the way I like, Steve. No. <laughs> <laughs> he could even make the nine here if he got lucky. Or make the two off the nine in the side. He's going to kick three rails. Okay. And the third rail is the one he's pointing to. That's where the cue ball, when it comes around, it'll hit the side rail, in rail, and where Jimmy had his finger pointing three rails and then try to hit the two and hope it either goes in the side or something good happens here. Might make a ball here. Here comes the foot. No, not going to reach. But he's left after him a pretty testy shot. I think he's going to slice it right in. What do you I think? I do too. I think he'll put it right in the corner and be in great position for the four and go from there. Well, I think that's the only thing he's uh, really worried about. I don't think he was worrying about missing the two, but I think he liked to see this cue ball fall in the right place. Missed it. Side pocket, Missed side it. pocket. He got that a little thick, didn't he? Missed it. Suddenly when the score is nine to eight, the pockets tighten up a little bit. Well, <clears throat> Lady Luck is a fickle lady, no question about her. Sometimes she smiles at you, and other times she laughs right in your face. Well, tell you what, he didn't get, get a little more of it. He oh. didn't get where he wants. I tell you no. what, playing position on this five is not going to be easy here. That nine's right. blocking his path, unless he can come short of the nine. Would you try to come off that third rail and just take the thin cut here, Steve? Yes, I would. What we're talking about is play the four here. The problem here is the nine. Come around three rails and try to come along and bounce into this area and then take the thin cut for the corner here. The problem with coming around th three rails and hitting this fourth rail and ending up on this side is this ball right here is in his way. That's what he's trying to avoid. He's going all the way and he's going long. What a nice shot. Mm. Nice shot. I like his choice better than the one I was thinking. Nice about. shot. <laughs> and the execution was there. <laughs> it is 9 8, and it might soon be 9 9 in the race to 11. What a comeback this would be. Rempe was down 9 4. Boy, he's coming forward, too. 
Nine ball. Oh, wow. He's, ooh, boy, that's a small hole <laughs> coming across there. Would you play that like that? No, no. He hit it perfect, but. Again, that's why we're up here. <laughs> boy, that's perfect position. I think we've got a time match. Not only yep. do you have to beat Reyes, but you've got to answer to every critic in the house. All of the best <laughs> players are sitting here watching Rimpy and wondering, why did he play it that way instead of the way I thought he should? You know, we've never missed a shot sitting up Not here. Not yet, no. And but I don't intend to. No. Uh, halfway mm. house here. Amen. But he can make this. He won't scratch, will he? No. Upper corner, 9-9. Nine, nine. There it is. This is some comeback, ladies and gentlemen. Reyes and Rempe tied at nine. At one time, Reyes led 9-4. The race to 11, and now the momentum has swung to Reyes, who be, uh, to Rempe, who will be back with the break. That's Chalk Off, the complete pool table cleaner. It's the most key game of the match right here. Well, we got a barn burner in Los Angeles. Right to make the ball. He's made one. Got the one ball. Can he hit it? And he'd make the two anyway. Well, let's see what's happened here. Reyes has gone down to 926. Rempe's gone up to 895. 68 to 75 balls pocketed. F two mistakes now on Reyes' side. Two positioning errors. You know, I mean, this is getting close. Made them both, and now he's got the three ball. He, he played them both. Tom. He played them both. That's, that was that no was, accident. That was no accident. He, he knew what he was doing there. As soon as he elevated his cue, he hit it so hard and hit the one straight into the two, and the one followed the two in. And notice he, drawn the, he drew the ball to play position on the three. Tell you what. Rempe wins this game, he's going to feel like he won the tournament. I don't know, but what he won't, uh, he'll certainly be in the finals if he wins this one and the next one. Yeah, he may play this in the corner and draw over for the, I mean, he may play it in the side and float over. No, he's going up in the corner. Yeah, he is. Did he get there? Yep, and that corner is uh -huh. full. He's Don't. going to have to draw his ball and spin it because he needs to fall close to straight in on that eight here. I'll He's tell you what, these are not the type of shots you'd like to have when the score is 9-9. Nine, nine. And Efren Reyes is sitting over there waiting. Is he looking to shoot the eight in the corner where he's at? That was a marvelous throw there. Pretty good shot there. Now, what do you do, Nick? It's Just soft and bounce rolling. off. Mm -hmm. Just center ball and bounce off a foot or so. That's right. Put it back over in this side. Ooh. Oh, he's coming around two rails. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but it's not as easy as it could have been. Mm -hmm, you're right, Tom. I mean, he hasn't made it a... Come, come back, gentlemen. Down 9-4. He now leads 10-9, and he's breaking. Perseverance. Perseverance well, paid off. Amen. Well, Jimmy made some uh, really great shots in this match. Yes, he did. Coming back. Down 9-4. to four. He had to be 8-5, to five, not even to get to the table against Reyes. 9.06, 9.26, active stats. It's right on the money. And Rumpy is a break and making a ball away from playing for the championship next week. Jimmy Wetch already has advanced through semifinal play.
talented young uh, player. I noticed the last break. He took some of the speed off the break and it really worked good. He just hit him square. Made the eighth nine. ball. Oh, it was gone. The nine was going in the hole. Oh, it sure was. And the three oh. got him away, huh? Now, what do you do, Steve? Nine mm. was going in the hole. That two's laying in a nasty spot. Do you bank that cross side? Mm. How far is the two away from the rail? Yeah, it looks like about an inch, maybe. I can't tell real good. I can't tell. But if that is well, off enough, he can... Maybe our cameraman can tell us. How far is that two away from the rail there, cameraman? Maybe he can give us a close-up. No, he's not giving us... Oh, he's shooting it. He's shooting the two. He's banking the two. He's going for the money. Going for the cheese. I love it. That's the way to do it. Missed it. Missed it. Oh! Oh! Looks like we got a 10 10 -er. Tell you what, whoever wins this match played one heck of a match. Rumpy leads 10-9. But Reyes is on the threshold of tying it at 10. Boy, this has been a thrilling match to watch here. This is great TV, Tom. This is great pool, no question about it. Both well, players have just played so good. He didn't want to do that. He He's very unhappy the, about it. He wow. wanted to play the five on the side, but the way he's been playing, he wouldn't have looked. Sec uh, he wouldn't have looked at this shot second about five or six no, rocks earlier. No, no. I'm sure he's gonna be all right here. Is he cutting it inside? No. No, I think the corner. Yes. Right in the center. Well, he was ahead nine four, and he fell behind ten nine, and Rimpy now sits and watches and sending the race to 11 right down to the final match. Mm. Rimpy missed that bank. Might have cost him the match. Yeah, it wasn't an easy shot, but no. I think I'd had to go for it myself. Always go for the cheese. We are going to hear so much noise after this nine goes in. It's unbelievable. So there we are. It is tied 10 games apiece, the 11th game to be decided, and with it, the man that will go to the finals against Jimmy West. We'll be back. Wow. We'll Log on today to billiardclub.net or call toll-free 866-774-8770. Billiardclub.net. Tied at 10, Reyes now with the break. On, on the break, you missed the standing ovation from both players. Oh! Oh. Did he make a ball? No. 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 Came up empty. Uh -oh. But what did he leave Rempy? Anything? Well, he's he's hitting to the left of the one and trying to come down. And bury the cue ball. Bury the huh? cue ball or bury the one behind the seven and eight and hope he doesn't scratch in the upper corner. God, if he scratches in between the four and nine. It'd be just gut wrenching. Yeah, it looks like he's maybe trying to go all the way straight down table. I think he is trying to go. Uppermost, of course, is don't make a mistake. Whatever you do, make it work right. He's going for the nine. How can he do that? My you, kind of guy. That's kind of a, that's kind of a loose call there, wouldn't you say? Nick and I are both looking at that, each other spur in the face. I'm a little surprised he gambled on the nine there instead of the snooker, huh? Okay, here's the one, here's the two. Getting position on the two is a problem. Making the one. 
What a kill shot. Mm. Just a marvelous kill shot. He's got to hope he doesn't hit the side point right now. Uh oh, he doesn't want to be straight in. No, he and he is straight in. Okay, what we're talking about is he plays a three here and tries to draw up and get it off the rail for the four ball in this pocket. We don't know if he can do that or not. Kelly is just looking straight down at the floor. That's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> I feel the pressure oh, oozing boy. out of your head. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Mm. I'll tell you what, he's uh, still got a tough way to get out here from the. Yeah, but. For the, I uh, mean, it would have been a tougher way to get out from sitting in the chair. <laughs> Can you make that up there? No, he wasn't even thinking. No, pretty crowded up there. He's smiling. Yeah. Well, it's kind I'd of a nervous smile, though, I think. I mean, it's... He's got to cut, cut it, it in the side, side I think. Cut it in mm. the side. I think well, he, he can was worried it. about we've, making the four there, him. Steve. He just yeah, did it. He did. He still got a problem. Yeah. Well, let's see how he's going to get position on the seven. The I crowd is going crazy with yeah. every shot that yeah. this guy makes. Yeah. I think he's got to go forward. And everybody's offering suggestions, or apparently so, because he's looking at the crowd. He's got to go forward, hit a little high right-hand English, and play position for the seven of where he's standing. The winner goes to the championship. Did he hit it? He didn't hit it. Oh, he's a little bit soft. He didn't hit it hard. Boy, he's got to make a great shot. Oh he's frozen God. on the rail. This guy is really, he's giving us a thrill right here. Well, this match has been a thrill a second. Rempe was down 9-4, came back and won six in a row, went ahead 10-9. Saw Reyes come back to even it up at 10, and now this is it, the race to 11. The winner will be decided in a couple of moments. What makes you think he can't make that seven over in the oh, corner? Oh, he can. He can, but it's not easy, especially when the score is what it is. Oh, my God, he hit it a million miles an hour. He hit a million Almost. miles an hour. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> he hit the crowd is going crazy here. I don't know how he did that. He almost scratched on that shot. Yeah, but he almost made the nine ball, he too, at the other end. He almost scratched. He almost made the nine. He, he almost, almost made everything. everything. When this, oh, man. If he makes this and wins this game, the crowd is going to go absolutely crazy. Well, I think it's almost a fait accompli. Oh, my God. What a way he's doing this. Look at the crowd going yeah. crazy. He's going nuts. The crowd is going crazy. I love him. Look at this. Everybody's going crazy. 11-10. What a match. Reyes outlasts Rimpey. Jim Rimpey oh my God, fought his match. way back to take a 10-9 lead. That's one of Only the greatest matches I ever saw. What a match. So Reyes will now go against Jimmy Wetch, a man he defeated in this tournament earlier, 13 to 12. Wow. And what a match that'll be for the title next week. Well, I don't know. 11-10 Reyes over Rempe. 1996 is going to be a great year for the Pro Billiards Tour. But I tell you, this match, they'll have to go a long way to top it. Congratulations, Efren. Thanks. Very tough match. Yeah. In fact, some anxious moments even when you won uh, Rack 11. And Jim Rempe came from down 9-4. I didn't give you a snowball's chance you know where. And what a great comeback you made. Well, the last three times that Efren and I played, it came down 11-10. He won two times and I won one. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty more, right, Efren? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of guys, well, including my way Miserac, to want to send him back to the Philippines <laughs> to revoke his visa or something. Great player. He's one of the greatest players I ever witnessed. That's why they call him a magician. He gets out in shots like that where other people don't get out. Give but I tell you, you're a gracious uh, loser, Jim Rempe, and a magnificent player in your own right. It was a great match. And now you move to the championship against uh, Wetch, and uh, you took him 13-12. That was a tough match for you. 
Yeah, that's top match for me because you know when I adding a power nine four, then I play the one ball. They changed all the whole game. It did indeed. And then when they scored, it's a seven nine eight nine. I starting pressure. <laughs> a lot and of the, pressure. The two bounces yeah. off the cushion just that much. Yeah. I'm right. out. That's right. That's I why know. this game is such a game of inches. It's just incredible. And so close, yeah. gentlemen. Congratulations. Yeah. What a great match. The best of you. We look forward to seeing you on a lot more competitions head to head in 1996 and we'll see you in the championship match thank you Efren. good luck to you and we'll see you also in the championship of the legends nine ball here at the commerce casino next week it'll be reyes against wetch i'm tom kelly for nick varner and steve miserak thanks for being with us and we'll see you next week Bye bye visit medactivoral.com